The question up for discussion in this video, having been asked a number of times now, is whether or not a member of the public can use handcuffs. So welcome back, but if you're new to me, I'm a barrister who helps you understand law. So I've been asked this question a number of times, whether a member of the public can use handcuffs, particularly in respect of a citizen's arrest, or more specifically with a licensed security officer who is regulated by the Security Industry Authority, that is the UK's regulator for security officers. Now this video comes with two huge caveats. Number one, I am absolutely not recommending to anybody that they take handcuffs out and think about using them on any other member of the public. And secondly, and as always, that nothing in this video should be taken as legal advice. If you want legal advice, you must seek out formal legal advice because that would pertain to your own particular circumstances. And for those that have asked many times why these videos are not legal advice, that is because this is one way communication. I'm doing a video of general guidance and general principles of law. And so you cannot apply that to any one specific set of facts because there is always something else that might make that slightly different. And not least of which you're not instructing me, there's no contract between us and nothing I can say can be relied upon you because I'm just not giving you legal advice. So with those two big caveats out of the way, here's the general legal principle. So the overarching position is this. There is no law in the UK that prevents civilians from carrying handcuffs. And by civilians, I'm also including in that security officers, licensed or otherwise. Why? Because even a licensed security officer has no more power over any other person than a member of the public. The only differentiating factor is that the security officer is being paid to be a security officer, such as a doorman or a store security operative but neither of those have any more powers per se over an ordinary member of the public. That said, there is a provision in PACE, the Police and Criminal Evidence Act, to provide a power of arrest of any other person by any person, and you must do so in very strict, narrow circumstances. I will link a video where I've talked about those specific circumstances in more detail for citizen's arrest in the description below. If I forget, shout at me and I will link it afterwards, but I'm getting better at that, so not to worry. However, to explain the biggest caveat to this video, that is that I am not recommending that you carry handcuffs with the intention of using them or carrying them at all, because you might end up using them, is as follows. Any force used on any other person might amount to a crime and an offence in and of itself. Because any force against any other person, unless it can be justified, and that will need to be justified in the way of self-defence or by a citizen's arrest or assisting a constable in the course of their duty, which was the narrow circumstance in which the question was raised in one particular question, that being, could you assist a police officer by the use of handcuffs? Well, you would still have to justify any use of force as though you were doing it of your own choice albeit there is a specific offence for not assisting a constable in the execution of his duties, so I've covered that in another video as well. And as I recall, a Freedom of Information request revealed that there were precisely zero uh, convictions for refusing to assist a constable in the execution of their duty. But back to the point, and why do I not recommend that you use handcuffs? Quite simply, unless you are absolutely trained and know exactly what you are doing and it goes to plan when you use these handcuffs, then it's almost a given that you're going to be using too much force. And too much force is going to be an assault because if it's not reasonable and it's not proportionate in the circumstances and you use them in such a way that doesn't cause any injuries or certainly unnecessary injuries that's proportionate and reasonable in those circumstances, then you are quite potentially going to be charged with assault yourself. If the person were to break their wrist or even fracture their wrist or break their arm or fall because of the handcuffs and then have another injury and so on and so forth, that might be even grievous bodily harm if in the event of a broken bone or severe lacerations or head injuries and so on, you can use your imagination. If any of those come about because you've used handcuffs, particularly rigid handcuffs, which severely restrict and curtail movement, 
then if that is not deemed to be reasonable, necessary, proportionate, and all the rest of it in those circumstances, you are going to find that you might be charged with an offence yourself. Even if you are trying to affect a citizen's arrest, although it's not really termed like that in the legislation, it's simply termed that anyone can arrest another person in very narrow circumstances. As I said, I will link to the video explaining that in the video below. And even police officers, believe it or not, are encouraged not to use handcuffs, certainly not visibly unless it's absolutely necessary in the circumstances. Now, of course, in many, many circumstances it is necessary, but the guidelines do say that police officers should avoid it wherever they can. But even then, when you consider that the police officers go through extensive training and retraining and refresher training on how to use these handcuffs and how to use them safely, the handcuffs get tested, they get checked and all these sort of things. If you go out with a random pair of handcuffs that you've bought from wherever or from whomever and you use these outside and they are deemed to be unsafe on testing, on inspection and so on, particularly if someone has been caused some kind of injury because you've used handcuffs on them, you can see just how badly that would go. However, to answer the question in a strictly theoretical point of view, as I said at the outset, there is no UK law that prohibits the carrying of handcuffs or even potentially using them in narrow circumstances if you are using force to restrain someone that is deemed to be reasonable and necessary and proportionate in all the circumstances. It's just that I am recommending that you don't do that because I can only really see disaster happening more often than not if you take handcuffs out. So I think this is as clear a message as I can give on my videos without outright advising you not to do so because as I said, I cannot be hypocritical. This video is not advice. This video is general guidance. I tell you what the law is, what the law isn't, and even then, if I were wrong, you cannot rely on it. So as I said, not legal advice, but my suggestion to you would be not to carry and not to use handcuffs, even if it were strictly legal to do so. I hope that was interesting. If it was interesting, please bop that like button and subscribe. At the time of this recording, we have surpassed 250,000 subscribers, one quarter million subscribers. I thank you all for subscribing. There'll be some form of celebration, there'll be some form of gift or something of some nature which I'll think about. Give me your suggestions and your thoughts in the comment section below. What would you like to see as a celebration for us all? Because it's our achievement together. Over 250,000 subscribers. So thank you very much for liking and watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing, obviously, and see you next time.